Every teacher in Australia knows that there's a massive teacher shortage going on right now. And I'm just going to share with you how to prevent yourself from burning out if you're in an understaffed environment. About three years ago, I was leading a team of about six educators. Now, the issue was basically the staffing crisis that hit us and three of those teachers had to move on for whatever reason. So that meant that team of six was down to three. Now, we had to have people in front of classes teaching. Now, there was only one option and it was really the routines and the systems that I'd managed to put in place as the head teacher. Now, if I didn't have those systems and routines in place, I would have burnt out, my team would have burnt out because we couldn't staff those positions for three whole months. So basically we had uncovered classes for three months for three teachers. So you put that in a bit of perspective, five classes a day, three teachers, roughly 400 students a day without a teacher. Now, there was occasional casual teachers, there was an occasional sort of uh, group, basically four classes into one, and then one teacher is sort of coordinating. However, all the work and all the coursework and assessments and everything like that still had to progress because these students were aiming for whatever their certificate was, it was ROSA or HSC, they were still needing to progress through this course. So there was only one way that I managed not to burn out. Now that was the routines that I put in place and the systems that I put in place. Now I learned this the hard way because you can just get caught up with life and life can control you. You can basically just go with the motions and then when you're hit with a bit of reality, like you're down three teachers and you have to figure out how do I staff this and then how do I cover these classes, well, you need to fall back onto the systems that you've put in place. Now, one of those systems was leveraging Google Sites and Google Classroom. What we did was explicitly structure the course on this platform so it's explicit teaching. So I do, we do, you do. So I would deliver the courses through these platforms and then I would issue them out across the three different teachers' workloads and then students would engage in self-pace and then we would be reviewing feedback and, and things along those lines. So if you don't have a structure in place, if you don't have a system in place, there's three things you need to do. First, you need to establish the end goal. What is the end goal of your course? And you would have already had that through a scope and sequence. Now, what is the scope and sequence of your course? How long does it go for? How many modules? How many units? How many assessments? and so forth. Once you've got that structure, you can go into the second thing, and that is logically map them out in a sequence of learning. And you do that through your platforms like Google Sites or Google Classroom, or you can do it on Teams or School, it doesn't really matter about the platform, but it's the premise of mapping it out in a logical order. Then we need to embed key teaching principles like explicit teaching of learning intentions and success criteria. If you're not too sure what that is, it's at the start, you're explaining why are we learning what we're learning, the specific thing. So if, remember at the start of this video, I was telling you why systems are the best way I've prevented burnout. Then we've got your steps for success. Now I usually keep that as nice three simple steps. So once those systems are set up, you can reuse year after year after year and just tweak them, adjust them, improve them. Now, this was a godsend when I had all these staff out because I would get up in the morning, I would basically open up all these Google Classrooms, so there'd be 20 plus classes, and then I would basically issue out all the work for the day. Now, I did that for three months while running a team and leading all these other initiatives in the, uh, the school. So, if you don't think systems and consistent predictable routines are necessary for you as an educator, I want you to challenge you on that. Now consider if you don't be consistent with your students, if you don't show up every day and treat them like a consistent adult so they can understand why you are the way you are, what are you expecting of them, you're going to have all ranges of different emotions and behaviours exhibited in your classroom. You're going to have students just lashing out, you're going to have poor behavior because they don't know how you're going to react to when you actually give them instruction or when you show up. So it's the same thing when we come to creating those systems and routines for yourself. So you want to be consistent for yourself so you can just go, yes, okay, I'm in the groove. I know what I'm doing. 
If you don't have those things in place, then it's going to be quite challenging for you to actually build momentum and sustainably last the distance over time. Because the last thing we want to do is become another statistic of another teacher burning out before they've hit their first five years in education. So if you want a little bit more help on this, I'm going to be running a free workshop. It's a five day or it's basically one hour each day for five days, one on one. And I'll go through the systems that I've created, explicitly teach you them, and then we'll implement over those five days. And basically organize the principle of clarity, consistency, and making sure we're predictable in what we are doing. And then we get the results. Because realistically, if you're consistent, you can show what's needed, and you can actually communicate that effectively, then you're going to get the results what you need. And remember, effort equals results. If you hope and wish and pray, you sit back and go, yep, I'm going to be able to get through this term without the need for being consistently showing up and being able to reuse resources year after year after year. Well, you're kidding yourself because these day and age, curriculum, technology, everything is moving so quickly that if you don't have a stable foundation, you're going to find it really challenging going forward. So if you need that little bit of help, send me a message in the comments or click the link in the description, Tiny Teacher Challenge, or just send me a message over on Instagram. And remember, effort equals results. I'll see you in the next one.